What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about uh, Revit MEP. So this time, it's the electrical part. So last video, during my live stream, I have shown you there how to do the uh, lighting analysis. So in this video, we are going to talk about creating electrical circuits. Okay, so as you can see, I've been using the same model, the sample model that we can get from Revit when you install it so that you'll be able to follow the exercise. Alright, so let's get started. So in this exercise, we're going to create an electrical lighting circuit by placing lighting fixtures and we're also going to assign them to an electrical circuit and then after that we're going to edit the circuits in the panel okay so for example in this project we are completing the lighting layout for a conference center and we need to create an electrical lighting circuit in one of the rooms of the conference center okay so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to place the light fixtures and switches and then we are going to assign the light fixtures to an electrical circuit and assign the circuit to a panel. Okay, and then we are also going to put a light fixtures tag. All right, so let's start it. So for this one, I'm just going to zoom into this portion here, and then I'm going to go to the systems tab. So there's the systems tab, and then from the electrical panel, I'm going to select here the lighting fixture, okay? So the lighting fixture that we will be using here is this one, the M plane recess lighting fixture so this is a hosted family so we need to put it on our ceiling that's the reason why as you can see we are on the third floor ceiling plan okay and then for the placement here instead of place on vertical face so we will be using here place on face so it places the element on a selected face of a host element such as a wall or roof or ceiling okay so use this tool to place a face base or work plane base element on a face of a host okay because the family that we're going to put here our lighting fixture is a hosted family all right okay so i'm just going to zoom in here let me click the place on face so i click that and then as you can see, um, I'm just going to turn on the thin lines here. So I'll be able to see the thickness of my um, lighting fixture. Okay, so there's my lighting fixture. So in Revit, you can press the space bar if you want to rotate your element, right? So you can press space bar. So I'm just going to press the space bar a couple of times and then I'm just going to uh, put it here. So maybe somewhere here so I click there you go so there's my first lighting fixture now the next thing that I'm gonna do is instead of placing it manually I'm going to select modify and then I'm going to copy it okay so maybe I'm just going to align it with the same location as this so I'm going to align that to this line here somewhere here okay so I'm going to use the align tool you can also type AL for this one so i'm going to select this line there's my reference and then let's say here there you go okay all right then i'll just select here modify and then i'm going to copy this so i'm going to select this and then i'm going to select copy you can also type co then i'm going to pick somewhere here and then move then i'll just type 2400 Okay, then I'm going to copy again, 2,400, oops, <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I now have three lighting fixtures, and then these three lighting fixtures, I'm going to copy it below. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select all the switches, so I'm going to click one, hold control, to click the other elements, and then after that, copy click the paste point since i'm going to copy this multiple times i'm going to check the multiple here there you go 
and then constrain. So the movement will gonna be vertical or horizontal only. Okay, so I'll type 2,400. There it goes. I'm going to copy below again. There you go. All right. So there's now my lighting picture. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put the switch. Okay? I'm going to put a lighting switch here. But since I'm on the third floor ceiling plan, I'm going to third floor lighting plan. So I want to put my lighting switches on the floor plan. All right? which is logical so i'm going to select third floor lighting floor plan all right and then i'm now going to put the device here uh lighting and then three-way switch okay so lighting switch three-way switch so since i'm going to put it on the on our wall so just ensure that place on vertical face here is selected so our lighting switch is also a hosted family okay so i'm going to put it somewhere here so just near the door so that it can be easily accessed there you go and then i'm also going to put another lighting fixture here there you go okay and then i just select here modify Okay, so if you want to observe the space lighting calculation here, so just like what we did last time on my last video about lighting analysis, you can click the space. So if you click the space here, okay, and then you check the properties here, you will see that the average estimated illumination is 729.92 lux. Okay, this is based on the light fixtures that we just added. Alright, so as you can see, if you are going to review my last video, there is no value for the average estimated illumination there because we haven't placed the lighting fixtures. So now that we have placed the lighting fixtures, as you can see, it's now reflected here, which you can use as a basis of your lighting design. Alright? Anyway, so the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to create an electrical circuit. Okay, so we're going to create an electrical circuit and then we are going to uh, connect our lighting fixtures. We're going to connect these lighting fixtures to our panel here. For example, here on our LP3, on our lighting panel number 3. So that is what we are going to do. We are going to connect these lighting fixtures to LP3. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to click one of the lighting fixture and then from the create systems, so I can select here power. So if you want to create the switch circuit, you can also select here the switch. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going to select power. So I click the power and then after that, I'm going to select edit circuit. So the reason why I'm going to select edit circuit because I want to include the other eight lighting fixtures to the circuit. Okay, so I'm going to select that edit circuit. And then there's the add to circuit selected by default. So I'm going to select this lighting fixtures. There you go. All right, and then we are going to assign the LP3 to our panel. Okay, so as you can see here on my properties, there is no panel yet assigned to my lighting fixtures. Alright, so I'm going to select select panel and then I'm going to select that one. Click and then there you go. So it now populates here on my electrical loads. So the circuit number which is automatically done by Revit, so it's 11. Connection type is breaker. The load name is Lighting Classroom 5307. And there you go. So there is the panel LP3. The system type is power. The load classification is lighting. And these are the informations that you can use for your design. Okay. So right after that, I'm now going to select Finish Edit Circuit. Okay. Let's click that one. 
and then if I'm going to click this again you will see here the information of our uh, design here okay so there's the total connected the on our electrical loads so notice that the voltages and current information that are extracted from the electrical properties of the light fixtures that we just place okay so these are the properties all right now the next thing that we can do here is we can tag our lighting fixtures all right so after we connect that so we are going to tag now our lighting fixtures so i'm going to select here tag by category or you can also type tg as a shortcut so i'm going to select that one and then um, I'm not going to include the leader, so I'm going to uncheck the leader here. And then let us now click. There you go. There you go. Click, click, click. All right. Then modify. Okay. And also, if you are going to select the lighting panel our panel here so you can go here to the electrical uh electrical panel and then you can actually create a panel schedule here okay so you can create a panel schedule so you can click the drop down arrow or then you can use the default template so you can click that and then you can now see here your panel schedule right there you go and then these are the informations that that you can get for your model okay so notice notice that our circuit 11 this one our circuit uh, number 11 with the load uh, name lighting classroom 5307 okay so there's the load so so it's here on our bus c so it's 300 uh, 864 and as you can see here it's not actually tot uh, totally balanced because the value here it's about 2592 but for your bus b and bus a here so it's around 3328 and 3288 so it's about 3000 okay so if you want, what you can do is uh, you can rebalance the loads here. Okay. So if you want to adjust to minimize voltage across these three buses, you can use rebalance load here. Okay. All right. This is what I'm talking about. So you can go to the loads. And then you can select rebalance load. So it rebalances the loads on panel schedule. So this tool redistributes loads to make the load as equal as possible on each base. So when I click the rebalance load here, check this out. You see, so it's adjusted, right? So it's adjusted. Loads are adjusted to minimize the voltage difference across the buses okay so there you go so there's our uh, panel schedule so you can access it here so as you can see there's your lp3 okay and let me just tile it okay there you go all right so on our next topic what we are going to do i'm going to show you how to create the wiring of your electrical model all right so hopefully in this video you have learned something so if you like this video don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet okay consider subscribing all right so again thank you for watching guys have a nice day